Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, I'm Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you the new Essence Cosmetics Spring Summer 2020 collection update. So there are some new cool products out there and one of my PR companies that I actually work with or at least they always send out the best items to me by Essence and Catrice and all that jazz. Um, yeah, they sent out this box so I'm just going to unbox it similarly like i did the catrice uh, 2020 update spring summer you know that i uploaded last week so if you haven't seen that one yet do check it out after you're done watching this video because catrice also came out with some really cool items but first i'm just going to open this little box and make sure it's getting out of the way just unbox all of the items first i had a little bit of an issue because my camera was hanging down too low so i actually had to um like scoop away the box before i could truly open it but yeah there's like a little card in there as well it already says they're vegan and cruelty free which i really really love and can applaud i'm really happy about that essence has been cruelty free from the beginning of the brand which is like 16 years ago i think 16 or 17 years ago already so yeah i pretty much um grew up together with this brand let's just put it to that and here you can already see see a little overview of all of the products that are in this little like update box and yeah let's just scoop the box out of the way and just grab all of the products out there so i already saw that there were some different um like nail items in here as well which i'm really really excited about as i mentioned in my previous video i'm really really into makeup as well but yeah nails and nail art is pretty much the only thing i share on my channel like apart from these spring summer and fall winter collection updates by essence like Catrice. so yeah i'm just going to talk you through all of the items how much they're going to be and just give you my first impression so first up i'm going to start off with the nail items so if you're not into the makeup stuff you can just stop watching after you've seen this and heard the information about it so you don't have to watch the entire video and just randomly have to search for like the nail products but the first one is a nail and cuticle cream which i am already obsessed with <laughs> it has a very lovely scent as well i don't really love my cuticle pro like products like oils or creams or anything Anything like that to be super overpowering in scent so yeah i pretty much like this one it has a soft coconutty scent personally i don't like the taste of coconut but i really love the smell of coconut and the cream actually like um it doesn't leave like an oily residue or something like that which is really nice and this um nail and cuticle cream is only 1.99 and a little bit goes a really long way i have noticed already the couple of times that i've used it then there's also a new jelly nail polish remover and usually i'm not a big fan of the jelly substance um, nail polish removers but this one is actually quite nice um, a little bit again goes a really long way and because it has like a jelly like formula or substance it can be a little bit like difficult to work with but i pretty much love using this one if i'm going to soak off my nail polishes with some of these nail clips and a piece of a cotton round so yeah and that one actually smelled like pineapples which is a scent i really love and it was too 89 so it's a little bit more expensive if i compare it to the old school nail polish removers by essence which were only like 99 cents or something but it's definitely fun to try it out once then there was also an anti-split file in here which has a really soft grid so it is perfect to use on natural nails just to make sure you keep your nails in shape and yeah it's just a really nice one and that one is quite affordable for 1 euro 39 only then i'm going into the makeup part and first up is the my skin perfector tinted primer it's a little bit of like a very light foundation but it actually gives a little bit um of like more how do you say that again it nurtures your skin a little bit more 
Um, and this one is $3.99, so it's still really, really affordable. And if I compare this one to the Mousse Foundation that was in the Catrice uh, update, it is less thick. But then again, I do feel like the color that I got in my box is a little bit too yellowy. And I'm not sure if I can make it work on my um, skin. So yeah, it's just I have to figure out how to make this one work without making me look like I'm pretty much a little bit yellowy orangey undertone um because usually i i'm like more of a cool toned pale kind of girl and sometimes my lighting in my videos makes it look like i have more of like a warm undertone skin but in fact it isn't <laughs> but yeah that's just a little side note let's continue with the next um powder actually which is the my skin perfector loose fixing powder this one is 389 so a little bit like 10 cents less expensive than the tinted um primer and yeah i really really love the powders by essence actually their like setting powder the white powder is really really nice which isn't a loose one but it's one i've been using for years and i actually have a couple of backups in my collection already because sometimes they do discontinue products which is such a shame because a lot of my favorite products are already discontinued especially when it comes to um, nail products as well so if you do like something make sure you have a couple of backups and yeah just not get like a hassle of not having that item anymore and loving it so much so yeah i really wish they would like come out again with some of my personal favorites um but yeah i don't know if that's ever going to happen but oh well um, the next item is a coconut kiss lip peeling which is a soft lip balm with like some peeling um like ingredients in there which makes your lips like really soft and really hydrated this one is 239 so it is really really inexpensive again and the next item is actually a really beautiful beautiful liquid lipstick i love this color it's called date proof and this is one of those colors it's like my lips but better in my opinion it just has a really lovely like a rosy pink color and it's really wearable and the pigment in this one is amazing just look at that swatch um the only thing i really want to mention is that i have already tried this out it has been a couple of days since i actually recorded the video um like versus now i am um recording the voiceover and i have tried this one out on my lips a couple of times already it does take a little bit of time to dry it's not like you apply it and within a minute it is dry it does take like five to ten minutes to be completely dry but i don't feel like it's really dehydrating um the liquid lipstick by the way there are multiple colors and these were 2.99 then the next item is the 24 ever ink liner i really love the name it's like a fun word play this one is 289 and as you can see it is super pigmented i really love the sharp point it has it is perfect for a winged liner or any type of eyeliner you'd love to do you could even do like a graphic eyeliner with this one as well because it has quite a firm but pointy end to it i really love that and this one does dry really quickly as you can see the lip liquid lipstick still wasn't dry <laughs> but the liner actually dries within like 20 seconds or something which i really like and it does dry up matte so if you're more into a glossy finish i would personally skip that liner but it's a really nice matte fast drying highly pigmented eyeliner the next one is the bye bye panda eyes mascara Personally, I'm a big, big fan of Essence, their mascaras. I've been using the Lash Princess Mascara line for a long time now. And yeah, they're just so inexpensive. Like this mascara is $3.59. I'm not quite sure if it does what it promises because it's supposed to be super smudge proof. But I haven't tried it out on my own lashes yet. But I definitely will be trying it out in the next couple of weeks because I have to switch up my mascara anyways. Then next up, just two items left. This one is the Nude Edition palette in 10 Pretty in Nude. These palettes are definitely high on my 
recommendation list. Let's just put it to that. If you are into makeup and you're definitely more into the neutral wearable colors, this palette is something for you. Like this palette is only $3.99 in euros and I'm just going to swatch all of the colors on my bare skin. There isn't any primer or anything on there. I just really wanted to show you what these colors can do and you can see that the more shimmery ones are really really pigmented and that is something that Essence is really good at like their shimmery colors their metallic colors are insane and most of the times the lighter like blend colors they can be a little chalky, a little bit like making some fallout happen and stuff like that. But that darker last shade that I just swatched, that is a nice one. It doesn't have any fallout and it's actually quite soft to the touch as well, even though it is a matte formula. But yeah, here you can see the first color is quite chalky, quite powdery in my opinion. But I think that if you do pat it on or if you would apply it with your finger, it would give a really nice like highlighting color underneath the brow or something like that. It really is a nice palette and for a little less than four euros, it is so inexpensive. There's also like a rose gold kind of um version of that palette which is something i really really love as well so i think i might be going back to the store when um it's all in the store of course because this collection will be out or this update collection will be out in march so yeah i'm pretty much excited for the other palette as well but then the last item you've already seen it right now i'm just going to open it a little bit this palette is called witch side and this one is a little bit more expensive the most expensive item from the box so far and it is 9.89 in euros so a little less than 10 euros and you get this beautiful palette i really love those like multicolored marbled kind of um, natural stone looking kind of colors i think they're really beautiful and of course i'm going to swatch all of these colors on my arm as well i haven't applied a primer or anything like that and i'm just going to do the swatches with my fingers of course sometimes if you are going to use these colors with a specific brush it might turn out a little bit different because applying something with your finger you pretty much pack the color on and that is something that i really want to share with you guys that sometimes it can really make a difference what kind of tools you are using and yeah that's just something i really want to put out there but oh my this palette is gorgeous i really love that charm color as well like that soft rosy like dusty pink that is definitely one of my favorite colors in life like unfortunately if i have like clothing items in colors like that it doesn't suit me that well but if i wear it as like a makeup item or a nail polish it just suits me really really nicely but yeah i think i'm just a little bit too pale to do like a full-on dusty rose pink outfit or something i don't know but i'm just going to continue swatching all of these colors oh and i did get some questions about the nail designs i'm wearing in this particular video as well as my last video i did about the catrice um like spring summer collection unboxing i did record both um designs so there will be videos about that coming up real soon so keep an eye out for that if you're curious but these are already all of the swatches from this witch side palette. I'm pretty much obsessed. I really love those marbly like sparkly colors. They're really beautiful to just throw on the lid and keep it like that. Or just go full on glam with some of the darker colors as well. I think this palette is very versatile and yeah you can just try it out for yourself it's just a little less than 10 bucks and the packaging is quite cute as well i really love that it doesn't feel like cheap or something like that or childish um, I know that Essence has like a younger audience, but even though I'm turning uh, 30 this year, I'm still like obsessed with the brand and I love it so much. But this was already the entire unboxing and first impressions video of the new spring summer um, collection update by Essence Cosmetics and I really hope you liked it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, as usual, I love you so, so much and I hope to see you in one of my next videos.